What the fuck is up? Higher point of view here. It is your West Coast Packer backer. Sue! Rasul Douglas. Hey, fan favorite. Crowd favorite. My One of my favorites. It's always good. Now, you know, I don't, it's probably been a minute since we had a chant like that. The last one I remember is John Coon. When, whenever he did something, everybody's Coon. But now we got the Sue. And you motherfucking deserve it, bro. Again, one of my favorite Packers. And, and and to be one of my favorite Packers, for real, and, and to do it in your first year, bro, very impressive. You know, I just like everything about your game, man. Risk taker, aggressive, and you know, I don't know how, but God damn it, thank you, Philadelphia Eagles, you know, for drafting this guy and just not seeing anything in him. And not just that, this motherfucker, hey, you done been a fucking... The Packers are your 16, bro. So, like, that should show y'all, too, how the Packers motherfucking get down. How we can see shit that not other motherfuckers could see. This motherfucker been on five other teams and, and couldn't find him a solid spot. So, we got to give ourselves credit for this. For, for you know, hey, they, they, gave you, they gave you some money now. You know, for a guy who's been on a lot of teams and, you know... What they would call a journeyman for you to come in one year and we give you that kind of amount of money is the trust that we have in you. And you fucking, hey, it's motherfucking well-deserved. And um, let's get into the numbers. You only started nine games, bro. Led the team with interceptions and shit, passes defended. 14 passes defended, interceptions five, two of them to the house. And I'm going to actually say three of them to the house because that incredible game-changing, game-winning interception you got in Arizona in the end zone, fuck a pick six. Nigga, that, that shit took us all the way back home to Green Bay with a W, you know? So that was even bigger than the pick six. So motherfucking kudos to you for coming in. Underdog, you know I love the underdog. Underdog coming in, proving everybody wrong. All the teams, all the five other teams who didn't think you were worth a roster spot. Other teams keeping you on practice squads, bro. And again, for you to be one of my favorite, you got to be a goon, bro. Hey, look, real recognize real. I, I, I could tell, bro. I could tell you, you know, you a goon. Hey, if I was going to an alley to get into a fight, I'm, I, I'll bring you with me, bro. I'll bring you with me for sure. But uh, I ain't telling you shit about X's and O's, man. Just, just come in and do what you've been doing. Still only 26 years old, bro. You could get another motherfucking contract. Yes, you can. You know, or at least a, a big extension. You could get another one of those if you show up. Bro, really? Nine games started? You took five INTs, bro? Hey, looking like Woodson. And I'm not over... Hey, I'm not over-exaggerating because what Wood used to do? Y'all know Charles Woodson. That motherfucker bring in 11 picks a year, 12 picks a year. You brought in five with only nine games started. So who's to say if you didn't start every goddamn game that you would bring that kind of production in? And that is just elite production. Okay? So I already mentioned I, I just I just like your whole deal, bro. Dude from Jersey, you know. I don't know what city. Hey, hopefully Inglewood, New Jersey. You know, hey, all us Inglewood cities in the world got to stick together. <laughs> There's an Inglewood in Colorado. There's an Inglewood in Chicago, an Inglewood in Jersey. God damn it. We on the, hey, we everywhere, even if it's spelled different. We the only ones that spelled with an I, but it is what it is. Ain't no big deal. But yeah, bro, your spot on the squad is solidified. There's no if, ands, buts, or maybes about it, at least for the next couple years. Just continue to do what you're doing, and I'm going to give you a pass early, bro. Because, you know, like I said, I love risk takers and I love how you just jump routes and that's fine. You even got a forced fumble. Add that to the statistic fucking clinic you put on last year. You know, you just were always in the right place at the right time. It's not a coincidence that one of those pick sixes was against the Bears. That's what the fuck y'all get. What, what was y'all thinking? To the fucking house, you know. Stay aggressive. So, again, I'm going to give you a pass early. There might be times this year 
You know, it's, it, you're going to play 17 games instead of starting at nine. So there might be times you might jump a route and a motherfucker might catch it and get a few yards. Bro, I'm forgiving you in advance for that shit because why? You are a risk taker. Not everybody like to be a risk taker. Hey, yo, hey, QB1, you know, he don't even like to take risks that much, you know, which needs to be talked about. But, uh, yeah, bro, I can't wait to see you out there you know i can't wait to that first pick hey the first pick you get i'm going nuts and i'm going to predict that you're going to get the first pick anyway you know ain't nobody gonna be trying to fuck with jair over that over there and then you know stokes hey second year leap we're gonna see what happens but look look at the two dudes i just named bro like you are an elite company on your team this could potentially be the best secondary in the nfl all you got to go do is produce like we know and think that you can you got two other just dogs right there with you, bro. And then we ain't even mentioned the safeties. Double A back there like, bro, you are in a very good position to where you can take those risks. They ain't going to throw it to Jaws much, you know. They might still pick on Stokes a little bit until he's, until, you know, I'm expecting him to have a second year leap and do better too. So, but back to you, Rasul, bro. Congratulations on actually finding a team who wants you. The city loves you. The fans loves you. You got your own chant, you know game changer congrats to all that you earned it all but hey we're gonna need you to double we're gonna need you to triple down on that bitch you know let them know you're really not playing let them know it wasn't a fluke let them know that the packers are the best in finding hidden gems because that's what you are journeyman you know hey oh he's been on this many teams how the fuck all of y'all all y'all other teams what didn't y'all see in this guy because what we see is pick sixes well was it a coach like, what was really going on? Oh, well, were you too much, you know, too much like myself where sometimes you just, you know, too much of a goon where they just like, oh, man, you know, hey, I can see it, bro. I know you a dog for real <laughs> on some other shit. Like I said, I'm a, I'm in the alley fight. I got no problem bringing you with me, bro, for real. A dog is a dog. But uh, yeah, continue success, bro. Congrats on the new contract and congrats finding a new home. We're going to have a fucking great motherfucking year. I can't wait to hear the crowd say soo to, to the point where it's sounding like booze you know what i'm saying and i can't wait to see a lambo leap like i i'm really banking that you're gonna do better bro nine games five interceptions a forced fumble 14 passes defended god damn bro you just was all over the place in a defense that you didn't even know i mean it was your first year bro like you just came in and start learning the defense bro you got motherfuckers behind you on the bench that was already in this defense for two, three years, possibly, or even a defense in the defense for a year. And then this day second year, you thought they would have caught on and they only stayed on special teams. Like, bro, you had a few players who could have had your position, but you came in and said, nah, this is my shit. I don't know what you did or what practice. Must have been a play in practice. You did some goon shit and the coaches were just looking like, hey, let's just put them in. Let's just see what happens. And you see what the fuck happens. And Maybe it was a practice thing because, you know, you also I know these kind of guys like I've seen them where practice. They just it just don't seem like it's all together. But as soon as the game come, it's all over with like you seeing a different person. So I don't know if that's what it was, but I'm glad and happy that all those ridiculous franchises like passed on you and just didn't see anything like, bro, y'all couldn't keep bro around Philadelphia. You drafted him like anyway. Thank you. Anyway, Philadelphia again and in Philadelphia. I'm going to thank you in advance for the victory this year because we owe you one.